What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Crypto Rick here. And I have to say, this video here is special to me. This is episode one in my new series around the Kennel Sphere Kennel Combat NFT game. In this series, I'm starting here today with one BNB, gonna buy into the game, play the game, and keep track of the winnings from the game so everybody can get a real feel for how this game not just works but how you can earn from it long term as well so with that being said everybody let's go ahead and jump right in Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump right in. First things first, kennelsphere.com is the website. The Kennel Sphere Kennel Combat game can be found right here in our little fighting arena. You'll also see some of the other use cases on the Kennel Sphere website as well, such as the staking, such as the farming and the launch pad um, and all that. But in this series, we're focused on the NFT game. To me, this is one of the biggest gems in crypto, and I'm hope to show you exactly why. And the good news is, you're still relatively early when it comes to what we're seeing here. So all you want to do, click the uh, the combat game here, and it will bring you in, give you a little explanation of of what the kennel combat is. What it is is a place where all projects on Binance Smart Chain and any other compatible chains down the line can actually join into a, a PVP play to earn NFT game without creating one for themselves. They can battle against other projects, put their community up against other communities. And in the meantime, the, the project is getting buybacks and revenue and the, the users of the game and the NFT holders and the players are actually earning BNB through the game as well. So it's really one of those win-win situa uh, situations that I really look for in crypto. So in here, you'll see right now there's three different teams that you can choose from how it works is each team is a separate project you have to hold a minimum token amount for each project to be eligible to mint or train that fighter you also need to hold 1,000 kennel tokens that that is subject to change as price of kennel increases as well. So just be aware that if kennel price increases, that will decrease along uh, with it. But you have to hold 1,000 kennel tokens to be able to battle and fight in the game. So if you don't really care which project uh, you're part of, if you're not already holding one of these, uh, one of the easier ways to get involved is to simply choose the kennel kill a team. Now, what you'll see when you come in here, if you don't have enough kennel, you'll see it say right here, you need to hold at least 1,000 kennel, right? So what we're gonna do, we started with one BNB, &B, okay? So one BNB, &B, that's all that's in this wallet, and we're gonna use this wallet solely for the combat game. So you need to come in here and buy kennel, okay? So as you can see, I have zero in this wallet, it's a fresh wallet. There is a 3% reflection tax on all transfers, buy, sell, and transfers of kennel token. So I'm going to buy a little bit more. Got to bump my slippage up to, you know, 3.5% to cover that 3% tax, okay? Um, and then what we're going to do is 1050 here. And then you can simply hit swap. So this is about $22.91, 0.08 B on this, okay? And then we're gonna come over here and refresh this page because now I will have over the 1,000 count. Then the recruit button comes up so as you can see to recruit aka mint a fighter it's currently 0.13 b and b okay so we're gonna go ahead and recruit one just takes a second to to you know go ahead and get validated on the blockchain luckily this is uh you know binance smart chain or b and b chain as they like to call it now so it doesn't take too long uh for that once the nft has been created you'll see it come up right here. If you notice the Kennel Sphere logo, you need to just simply go into that and reveal your NFT. 
This here will give you your image and, re and allow you to start training it, okay? So as you can see, there's a few different attributes on here. The first attribute is toughness, 354 out of 1,000. You're, when, you, when you recruit slash train, this is always going to be pretty low. I recommend trying to get it over 900. And then the critical chance, this is a random roll bet between 10% and 60%. So 30% isn't horrible. Um, this is a stat that is almost like the rarity of your NFT. Cannot be upgraded, cannot be changed, okay? Your level is also a, a solid little start here with level 50. That's a random mint uh, as well. And then as you fight, you can actually uh, get level up options down the line to increase your level, which your level is, is extremely important when your critical chance is hit, okay? So in order to train it, we're going to spend 0 0.05 BNB to train. Now what happens is every time you hit train, you get a random roll between 100 and 1,000 for your toughness. If your, t your, if your new roll is higher than your existing toughness, you're getting whatever that new roll was. You can go in one train, you can go up to 1,000, which is uh, pretty amazing. If it's less than your 354, like this one was, you go down 10 in toughness, okay? So we're gonna train it again. Getting this NFT in fighting strength is priority number one. When you can battle and win, the earnings for your BNB uh, can get very, very uh, in interesting, who will say. We have some players, you know, making solid, solid gains right now by battling their NFTs. So each NFT can actually uh, battle once every 24 hours, okay? So as you'll see, you know, some NFTs are, are winning almost every single battle and really capturing uh, some solid prizes. So as you you uh, are seeing while, while we're training here, just training up to see if we can get this over uh, 900. And possible win right now is 0.1 BNB. So every day, ooh, look at that, 997. Here we go, baby, we're getting ready to fight. So every single day, each one of your NFTs has a chance to win 0.1 BNB. The minimum win is 0.03 B and B, okay. So that's pretty uh, pretty important to understand. So minimum win 0 0.03 B and B, maximum win 0 0.1 B and B, okay. So we're gonna fight this. I'm gonna show you right here. Just click fight, confirm. So this is our first fight with this guy. Hopefully we uh, we can take home a, a dub on our first ever NFT battle. Let's see what we got. So it takes about, you know, five to maybe 10 seconds, depending. So we won. Awesome. So we won 0 0.03 BNB. So that is right out of the gate, pretty solid. So we used about a half, you know, 0 0.42 BNB currently. So I'm going to try to mint, or I should say recruit one more. Okay. If I can, if I can get a good recruit, and a, a quick train up, that'll be good. So let's see what we can do. I'd love to have two solid ones to show you guys and just watch how fast it happens. Okay, I'll kill him. So if you notice, the recruit price went up. Every 10 recruits per team, right? Each team is individual with that and it might have different pricing. So check all the different teams to, to see which one's best for you. Um, but all, all of them have the same uh, process every 10 recruits or 10 mints the price goes up by 0 0.01 bnb so that's all, always good to see as well so as kennel killers get recruited they could actually become more expensive than the auto rise or the forever farm and and so on and so on so it brings more eyes to all the different projects that are playing so let's go ahead and recruit another one confirm that So while we're waiting, as you can see here, this will show you all the different NFTs on the team. The ones highlighted in green are yours, okay? So the ones highlighted in green are yours. So we're gonna go ahead. You can also see how much BNB they've won, right? Like this one, 
five wins, one loss, 0.15 BNB already. Uh, I mean, it's one of the newer NFTs created, you know, 0.18. So again, this is a, it's pretty cool to see how fast people can, can really get it going. So let's reveal this 20%. That sucks. Boo. That's all right. We can still do some damage with that if we get a good train. So just revealing the fighter now. You can always come to your fighters as well up here in the top right and it will list only your fighters so you'll be able to see them yeah, pretty easily. I mean look at these guys are these guys are pretty cool looking too. Alright, so this guy's got a nice little sniper rifle on his shoulder. Let's train him up. See if see if we can get a a, a killer on our hands here. So 401 is our current toughness. We're going to go ahead and train it up and uh, try to get over. Ooh, 764. So close, so close, but so far at the same time. All righty. So we're at about 0.38 BNB. If we, get a, if we get a quick train here, like two or three, that'd be real nice. Might even be able to make a third NFT for you guys to track. We are, see, and that's the, the beauty slash the curse of the training, right? Is we want to get greedy. We want that 900 plus. But at, as you see, it, as you're 700 and something, boom, there we go. You have a, a lot of chances to, you know, go down because that's 70%, 74%. I was just that chance to be under rather than over. So here we go. We got a 943. Let's see if we can win this battle. All right, let's see what we get here. Give it to me. Give me that W. Boom, we won. Look at that. So we're 2-0 and on our two different NFTs. So let's see what we have over here. So 0.18. So I'm going to let this build up um, over the next few days. Um, so I will be back to show you guys the progress. So now you see how easy it is to get in, get started, train it up. Now, if I was to battle these two every single day, right, that's 0 0.06 BNB minus the gas, right? So we'll say about half of that, 0 0.03 times 30. So even if I, I just won the minimum for both of them, we're talking one month having our BNB back. If you sprinkle in a couple of larger wins, well, we'll see what happens with that along the way, right? So obviously I might not win them all. There's some great NFTs out there. But in addition to these battles that are happening that I am uh, in initiating, if somebody gets so uh, hits the fight button and picks a random nft and one of that happens to be one of these two nfts that we defend that battle well guess what we win b and b for that as well so i can actually continuously win b and b even though my quote unquote fight isn't active because i have to wait 24 hours for my next fight if the blockchain pairs me up against somebody and I win that battle, I get the BNB still for, for that win. So uh, a whole lot of stuff going on here. I want you guys, again, come over here, check it out for yourself. You can see the Kennel Killer. You can see the Auto Rise, to the Auto Rise ones in here. You can see the Forever Farm ones in here. So if you like, if you like a specific NFT, come on over here, check them all out. If you, if you definitely want Kennel Killer, you can come over here grab one of those you want to support auto rise you want to support forever farm come on over here get yourselves minted get your fighters recruited and if you know any uh, bsc projects that you think might want to get added to this game please send them over in our telegram we're always available willing to answer any questions and we're trying to help change this entire space by giving more utility by giving more community rewards and really showing that you can do this thing the right way long term and truly build in this sector so i hope you guys enjoyed this there's going to be much much more on here in my pre and my following videos and my following episodes so this has been episode one stay tuned for episode two